hey guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome 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 my name is shayla and if you're not new here and you are a returning viewer returning subscriber thank you guys so much you guys are truly appreciated so i am getting ready for the day and i'm getting ready for the weekend super needed it it was very very well needed but i thought it was the perfect opportunity to give you a fall look it is super fall vibes outside it is super chilly it's cloudy and i've got my fall outfit going on so i thought it would be the perfect time to show you my everyday fall makeup look so we're just gonna jump right into it if you haven't already subscribed to my channel subscribe hit the bell down below for so you can be notified every single time i upload which is once a week i upload a new video every single week and without further ado let's get into it okay so Let's get started. So I'm just going to prep the face with the NYX Bear With Me Multitasking Spray. I haven't drenched my face in a very long time on camera. That's like always my thing to do. Nowadays, I feel like I've been doing it before I even um, record because while I'm doing my skincare before I film, I tend to drench my face and I don't bother to put it in the video, but here I am, drenching my face. I'm going to be priming my face with the Milani SPF BFF SPF 30 primer. So even though it is fall and the sun is barely out, you should still be using SPF all year round. I tend to just use a regular SPF in the summer just because I need a little bit more protection. Um, but in the fall, like a SPF in your primer um, is sufficient enough, at least I think. That goes for winter too. So now that my skin is prepped, I'm going to be using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil to line my brows. In like the little, the inner part of my eyebrows a little bit with the pencil but i'm actually going to go in with this beauty creations eyebrow definer gel so this is what i'm going to be filling in my eyebrows with i actually got this a long time ago and i never actually used it and then when i thought of buying a brow pomade i was like well let me give this a try before i do and see how this works not as harsh as I thought it was gonna be I thought it was gonna be like too intense for me but I like it and before I forget I in the brow definer I'm in the shade warm black brown and in the definer gel I'm in the color ebony okay so I think I'm gonna switch it up a little bit from what I usually do I typically start out with eyes first before I move on to complexion but today I'm going to be doing complexion first because lately I've been so into complexion. I just absolutely love a great looking finish to my face and eyeshadow seems to be really minimal to me. But of course we're gonna be doing some eyeshadow today but I wanna focus on my complexion today. And I actually think I've really been loving this process a little bit better than eyes first and then complexion. So first for complexion, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. And I am in the shade 360. So I've been a little bit off kind of a, like my schedule because I started uploading Sundays instead of Thursdays and then like my schedule got thrown off and I ended up uploading a video on a Thursday um, one time and it like threw me off. I was just like early off and then I filmed a video um, for my birthday. My birthday was a week ago like from today when I'm filming this. And I filmed like a get ready with me, getting ready for to go out for my birthday. And the video was so terrible. I did not like it because I was rushing to get ready. And I feel like it just wasn't good. So I completely scrapped that video and 
I had to push back my day. So here we're back, we're back to Sunday because I went back to Thursday. I'm supposed to have that video for Thursday and today's Saturday for me. So this will go up tomorrow, Sunday. For concealer, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer. And this one is in the shade 350. So I'm just putting a little touch there, touch there. And then I'm gonna put some on my eyelids for my primer. In case you are wondering, this beauty sponge is from Five and Below. So I actually tested out. Um, I did a full face of Five and Below makeup previously, and so you can, I'll link it up here in case you want to watch it. And um, it came in a set of three, and I've been loving these sponges because they are so bouncy and so nice and blend out everything so nice. And I've really been loving it. So go check out that video. This is the medium sized sponge. I think on that video I used the large sponge. And this is the medium sized sponge, and it still got pretty big after I wet it. And I'm going to set that right away, and I'm going to be using an OG, oldie but a goodie um, product. So this is the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. I think I got this um, as years ago, many years ago, but I repurchased it, I believe, for my Five and Below video as well. So I'm going to pick some up with my sponge, and I'm going to set it, but I'm kind of going to leave that there, sort of bake. because we're gonna go in with more cream products and I don't want the cream products to like mess anything up. I'm actually going to cut this out right away. So to do a cream contour bronzer, I'll be using the e.l.f. Putty bronzer in Golden Days. So it looks like this is gonna be like gonna be like a first impression for me today. Cause I've had this sitting in my collection and I haven't used it. I'm wondering if I should use the Elf Complexion Dual Brush. I think I am. I'm gonna use the Elf Complexion Dual Brush. I'm just gonna tap right in there. See, and go right in. I need more of an angled brush, but we're making it work. Then I'm just gonna flip on to the other side and pick some up. And I'm just going to contour my nails a little bit. I never do this so if you have been an OG to my channel so far you would know I never contour my nose but today's gonna call for it we're doing it I'm just gonna bring that down and like into kind of like my eye socket a little bit I really like this shade because it's not so intense for me, for my complexion. I don't like too much of a dark contour bronzer, so I really like this shade. And sticking with the cream products, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Putty Blush for a blush, and this is in the shade Bahamas. So to set to con the contour, I'm going to be using the um, bronzer side, contour side of this palette. And then to set the blush, I'm going to use my all-time favorite, you already know, Wet n Wild uh, Blush in Mellow Wine. This is the original. I have the other one, like the newer packaging. 
um, but I really love this original color way more for fall because it's more of like an apricot shade. I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush to dust off that bake that I had there. And I actually wanna give my eye, my under eye a little bit more brightness, so I'm gonna go in with the, the Bare Minerals Well Rested Concealer. Now, is it just me or like, leave me a comment down below, when Bare Minerals like first launched and the, everything was mi literally minerals, like this, loose powder, did you like have the whole entire like collection and only would like save it for like a special occasion because it was minerals and you felt like it was gonna waste like really, really fast? Or maybe it was just me. I used to think like, I can't use this every day because it's like powder, I'm gonna waste it right away. And I think I put too much on this side, so I'm just gonna go in with my fluffy brush and kind of dust some of that away. All right, now I look like I slept a good eight hours, which I did not. <laughs> so now we're gonna move on to eyes and we are going to use an OG eyeshadow palette that should bring you back so many fall memories. And we're going to be using the Morphe 35O palette. Oh. If you still have this in collection, in your collection, please dig it out and use it because that this is what happened to me. Like it's deep down in my drawer and I had to tell myself, girl, use it. Take it out and start using it because yeah so this is how we're gonna be bringing you all these fall looks so this shade right here the third one down is my absolute favorite as a transition shade from this palette and this is the one i always use but i'm going to be taking this one and this um fourth one from the second row right here it's a little bit of a cooler shade so i'm gonna mix the both of those and put that all over my eye like all, all over my eyelid and I'm taking so this brush is also from last month's boxy charm and I'm gonna focus this color pretty much more on the inner crease but I did fluff it on my eyelid To give us kind of like a burnt orange brown uh like look vibe i'm going to grab this orange shade at the top here and mix it with this brown shade right here and i feel like it's gonna give me more of like a shade like my like my cardigan here it's gonna give me a really nice burnt orange shade and i'm just going to put this like on my outer v portion and bring it up a little bit And I just want to keep it like really soft like that because this it's like an everyday you know fall look that is not crazy intense I really like how this shade looks really nice and soft I'm actually just gonna pick up a little bit more because I want to deepen it up a little bit but not too much I just want to make it look more present Next, I'm going to be picking up this really light shade right here and kind of, or like, I'm actually I'm just going to go down the line of these three and kind of mix them all together. I kind of want a light brown shade, but this is still too dark for me. So I need to kind of like go here, but these are too light. So I'm going to mix these three and I'm going to put that on the inner part of my eye. Gonna take my other brush that I was using previously and kind of just blend that transition there together. And 
And just make sure that I bring it down to like that inner corner here just to give that a nice bright awake look there. Again, I'm picking up my other brush and blending out that transition there. Now with like a angled liner brush, I'm going to pick up a brown. I wanted to do an eyeliner, but just to keep it soft, keep it nice and everyday makeup-ish y and folly, I'm going to take a eyeshadow to make a liner. And I think I'm gonna go with one a warm brown. So I think I'm gonna go with this middle brown shade right here. And I'm just gonna start out from the outer part and just like make a liner with the eyeshadow. Actually, I think I'm gonna mix it with the one right next to it, this deeper brown, um, these two together because it's a nice brown, but I want it a little bit deeper. I'm going to be using my all-time favorite Essence Lash Princess Mascara. Love how this mascara makes your eyelashes look so freaking good. And before I move on to lashes, I'm going to quick do my lower lash line. So I'm just gonna do the same like outer V shade that I did before, picking up this orange right here and this brown right here. I'm gonna mix them together and I'm gonna run that underneath my whole lash line. How many of you make that face? when you're either doing mascara or putting on this like eyeshadow underneath the bottom or eyeliner whichever and i just poked my eye with the brush and i'm also going to put mascara down there as well For lashes, I'm going to be using the Kiss So Wispy Lashes. I absolutely love these lashes because they're so comfortable and so pretty. Like they don't look exaggerated or anything. And I think they go with many eye looks. Before I forget, I'm going to set my eyebrows and I'm going to be using St. Lux Brow Gel. I also got this in last month's Boxy Charm. Okay, for lips. So for lip liner, I'm going to be using Jaclyn Cosmetics Lip Liner from Pout Spoken in the shade Hot Tea. And to pair that, I'm going to use the Jaclyn Hill Pout Spoken Liquid Lip. And this is in the shade Absolutely. It's gonna do like that. I really like how it looks like that. I'm actually gonna add a little bit more lip liner to just enhance the lip liner shade. And now you can totally leave it just like this, but I absolutely love glosses, so I'm going to top it with a gloss, and this is the NYX This Is Milky Lip Gloss 
and it's in the shade Milk and Honey. I don't know why it's melting. Ooh, that looks super nice. Now to seal it all in, I'm going to be using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This is another OG that I haven't used in like forever. Please use your old makeup products. Please use your products, like all your products. Just get in there and look for what haven't you used in the last couple months and start using it. All right guys, this is the final look. What do you guys think? I did do a little bit much for my complexion than usual, but that's just me right now. Absolutely, ugh, I've been absolutely loving this process, but I absolutely love this fall look as well. Comment down below if you like it too, and leave me a comment down below also if you wanna see another look, cause I do have another look that's more, a little bit more glam, a little bit more extra, but this is an this is a great everyday makeup look. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you are notified every single week when I upload a video. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting and I will see you on my next one. Bye.